Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I decided to, yeah, just make this video outside on the land of my yeah, landlord. It is such a nice weather, the sun is shining. I think we have minus two degrees right now, but still it just feels so good to be outside. <laughs> if you're wondering what am I talking about, Yes, the reaction of the Estonian song is definitely part of this video, but check out the timestamp, there you can just skip forward, because right now, as always, I will be talking about my daily life first. So, what happened today? Well, of course, it was my first workday after Easter, and last week I was talking about this new project where I have to program something, where I thought in the beginning, ooh, that's difficult, then I thought, ooh, that's easy, and now I think, like, it is not that hard, but... I am just not used to the way it is supposed to be. You know, like, I know the basics of programming, the way how you do things, you know, like with if, else, and all those things. I know the basics, but I have never used the LabVIEW interface and the test stand, GUI, and all those things. Like, of course, I had tutorials that I was going through in the beginning, but first of all, it's already like a month ago that I did those things. And second of all, of course, I've never really applied them to a project that I was really working on. So this is my first project working with LabVIEW, with Test Stand. And luckily it is still something manageable, easy, not too hard. But it is just so overwhelming when you have so many things and you're just looking for the easy things. And then you're like, okay. But what about the other things? Can I just leave them? Do I have to delete them? What do I have to do with them? Just things like that that yeah, made me a bit like exhausted today just because I was not really sure where to start. There are so many things you can look at. But besides that, well, we had another sprint start today. So we had another big meeting talking about the next two weeks and all these things. And also one thing about my working phone they have checked the SIM card today, so I might have a working telephone now, tomorrow maybe. But besides all these things, well, I really cannot tell you too much. Of course, it is just a work day for me. At six tonight, I have scheduled a phone call with a friend of mine. But yeah, the same as usual. One nice thing that I can tell you finally is on Thursday, on my Thursday, I will be going to see Dune 2 in the movie theater so i will definitely talk about the movie when i have seen it i'm going there with work colleagues so this is going to be awesome i'm very happy that we finally can go somewhere yes but that's it for today so now let's go straight into the reaction from estonia hey guys i'm lj and today we will be reacting to the live performance of estonia's national final for the eurovision song contest 2024 by Five minus and Puloop. Oh, this song title is going to be interesting. Nendest Nagotikumidest Aitea Mekul Midari. Midari might be lunch, but I have no idea what this means. As always with these songs, I will give them points in the end after I have watched it from 1 till 10 so that we have a final list of all my favorites for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. But now enough talking, let's watch 5 Minus and Pulup. By the way, I have already listened to a few snippets of the song, so let's see. Okay, some guys going crazy with a certain type of instrument that I've never seen before. Okay, this looks like a bit like a gang fight. <laughs> oh, he has a really deep voice, the guy with the beard. I love the dance. Very easy to make this on your own. There's so much chaos going on. I really think this song is going to be loved by the crowd because they are interacting a lot with them. But song-wise, I really don't know what this is. Oh yeah, I love this dance, like for real.
Okay, ist es finished? No, das ist finished, okay. <lacht> What did I just watch? I really don't know. I really don't know. Well, 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 Estonia. If I would only rank this song purely by music, this would be like, I think the lowest points that I would give. But because I base it on the whole thing, like the performance, the music and everything, I think I give this like four points because even if it's very catchy, the way the performance, like the, this chaos, let's say it like that on the stage, was like I think you could improve this performance so much I don't know how but I think there is like a, like a level to increase that and still catch the yeah the attention of the audience interesting to see how it goes and if they make it to the final but it reminds me a bit of Croatia's song last year with the guys that were taking off the clothes and the guy with the rocket and Yeah, so maybe it makes it to the final and then it's like somewhere between place 10 and 20. Definitely crazy, definitely Eurovision Song Contest like, but not my type, unfortunately. So that is my opinion on the song from Estonia for the Eurovision Song Contest. What do you guys think? Do you think this is awesome because it is just something different, something special? The crowd loved it, so why should you guys not love it? And on the other hand, maybe you just think like, okay, this is no music. This is more like entertaining, but the song itself is not good. Feel free to put that in the comments. You can, of course, also just add a number that you would like to give this song ranking from 1 to 10. And tomorrow it is time to go to the next crazy song, and that is Finland. But for now, have a wonderful day. I will now enjoy the sun and then, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.